guys and welcome to my channel it is Karen here with you today today I'm going to share with you a page that I have created in my use it up journal it's this little funny shaped dilutions one so I'm starting off with a background that I've created using bits of um, blue paint and I've grabbed some of Tracy's new um, products that have just been released so I've got a, a number stencil here and I'm using some of the colors that I've already used in the background um, to to push through my stencil so I've just got a little makeup sponge and I'm just pouncing the paint a little bit of the paint through the stencil onto the paper so that my paint doesn't whoosh under um, the stencil so here's another one of Tracy's new stencils but I've decided not to use that one so I've got the mandala one here that's got this nice little circles here and I've got some white uh, translucent, translucent paint excuse me so it looks quite subtle on the page there in the background so now I've got the big mandala and I'm just using some of the darker blue paint that is already on the page and putting that through um, the stencil as well so it all blends in and it and um, looks quite pretty well I think it does anyway so now I've got one of Tracy's new stamp sets which is the big flowers and I'm going to stamp that onto some rice paper um, I'm stamping it onto rice paper rather than straight onto my um, painted background because I actually want to put the big flower over the seam like in the middle of the book in the gutter of the book is what I'm trying to say so I've just stamped out a few there and I'm going to cut them out um, pretty neatly but not too you know not real close so you can still see some of the edges of the rice paper around around my images I'm just um yeah just quickly trimming them out and kind of arranging them on my page but I'm not really sure where where I'm going to put them exactly but I knew I wanted them on there and going from the middle outwards so I come up with a bit of a layout that I think oh yeah that'll look that's going to look really cool <laughs> it doesn't end up that way but you know <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so yeah so I'm going to glue that down with a bit of gel medium so as you can see putting it over the gutter of the book um, you, you wouldn't be able to stamp over that so using the rice paper allows you to um, to be a little bit more flexible with your with your images so I'm just gluing them down and as you can see the rice paper's all disappeared so now it's just the um the image there so that looks really cool so part of the stamp set's also got these little berries so I'm going to stamp those directly onto the page um, just with some archival ink um, just to fill in a few of the gaps and now I've got some white paint here um, this is a paper artsy paint it's called snowflake and it's really opaque so um, you know the white is really going to quite stand out and I really liked how the paint on the stamp kind of made light and dark patches within the leaves so they look a little bit more a little bit more interesting so and some are more solid than others so yeah I really like how that turned out so the important thing is is when you're using paint with your stamp is to actually clean your stamp afterwards um, because you don't want to ruin your stamp so you need to you need to wipe that off and so what I've got out now is my neon color twos from Karen Diash um, I think that's how you say it probably not but anyway <laughs> so I'm just scribbling on some color into the kind of the middle of my flowers and then spreading it out towards the edges just with a paintbrush there so you can see see me doing that and um, yeah they're nice and bright and colorful so they're really quite standing out onto the page a little bit of a bleed there so I'm just mopping that up with the corner of my paper towel to stop that water from running into each other and so I've got a pink one a yellow one a magenta um, what did I say pink Oh, it's actually purple. It's purple, Karen. It's purple and magenta and yellow. <laughs> and a little bit of orange, although the oranges run into the pink. So I'm going to have to come back and fix that. So the other thing that you can see that I've got there is some um, really cheap um, 
metallic watercolor paints that I bought from China. So I've just added some of those onto the berries and it looks really pretty. They're so shimmery. So I'm also going to add some of that um, watercolor into the center of my flowers. So I'm using the gold and it's so sparkly. I'm really, I'm really quite impressed with these cheapy metallic um, watercolors. I really like them. So, and they weren't that expensive, so it's good. So I'm just adding in a little bit more color there where some of it's kind of washed away or flowed into the other and I've had to mop it up and yeah, ended up losing my color. So I'm just putting that bit of yellow back there on that flower and a little bit more pink where it's kind of rolled into the gutter where I didn't want it to. So just adding in a little bit more sparkles in there. Okay, so now I've got a white uniball pen and I've changed my mind but I'm actually going to use black so I'm going to go draw some scribbly lines over my white leaves so it stands out my leaves from the background a bit better so I'm holding my pen quite loosely right at the very end of the pen so it's nice and loose and not very tight in my hand so I can get that nice sort of scribbly look happening on my leaves and I'm going over the lines a couple of more times so that it looks more intentional than um you know than if you were to hold your pen tightly and do it you you wouldn't be able to so holding the pen nice and loose um yeah helps create those nice loose flowy lines so I've got a little quote there um that's from studio light and you are the designer of your own something or other it's moved I can't remember what it is of your own destiny there we go so I really hope you like my um, use it up page in my journal and some of my close-ups there and I hope I've inspired you to get creative maybe start your own use it up journal and use some little bits and pieces that you've got lying around to to create a new page Okay, that's it. Till next time. See you later. Bye.